Hi guys, today I am doing a review and I haven't done a review I'm super excited about in such a long time. You guys know I love trying foundations, but lately I've been using my It Cosmetics CC Cream constantly. I really wanted to try something from the drugstore that is like possibly a dupe for it. And the other day I was at Target and I found this. This is the new Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Looks like this. They also made two for acne. They have one that is called Skin Clearing and then they also have another one that has grapefruit in it, like their grapefruit cleanser. Those are both for acne. They're both sold at Target, so I'll leave a link to both those below if you want to check those out. Today the review is obviously about this product. So first I'm going to give you guys some facts and claims about this, like what it claims to do and like the price and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll get into my application, how I feel about it, and then throughout the day, as well as my ending conclusions and recommendations. I also just wanted to let you know this isn't a first impressions because I did wear this all day yesterday, so I will talk a bit about that later on, but let's get into it. So like I said, this product is called the Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. It comes in six different shades, which is very surprising, I guess, because usually a tinted moisturizer, especially from the drugstore, only comes in like two or three different shades, like a light, medium, and dark. There's also, I believe, six or eight shades of the acne clearing one, and there's like a light and the medium of the grapefruit one, just in case you're wondering. This comes in a really great little, like, handy-dandy tube, and it comes with a pump on the tube, which is fantastic and nice. It's like very high-end packaging. There's one fluid ounce in here, which is kind of the brand normal for drugstore. Cost $13.59 at Target when I bought it. I also had 10% off on the Cartwheel app and there's always coupons for Neutrogena, Neutrogena and stuff online. The shade I bought was the second lightest one in the group, so it wasn't the lightest but the second lightest because obviously I'm super pale at the moment. This does have SPF 20 in it which is fantastic as well as a retinol treatment which we'll also talk about a bit more later. So I have the claims written down here so if I'm looking down that is why. The claims are that it's a perfecter, obviously that's in the title. It also claims to be moisturizing, blendable, have sheer coverage, erases imperfections, smooths texture, reduces lines, and has a natural dewy finish. So th those are all of its claims. Before I get into my actual review and opinions on this product, I did want to let you know kind of my skin type and what I'm looking for in a product just so you can kind of like judge whether it's good for you based off of that. So my skin is combination. So I have an oily t-zone, quite oily. By the end of the day, usually I get quite oily. I'd have to blot once or twice throughout the day. And you'll see in the demo how my skin looks before I put the product on. So I have a bit of redness, just some acne scarring, a few not even active breakouts, but just like red spots. And so you can see how this is going to cover those. During application, I did use my fingers just because I always use my fingers when I apply foundation. When I did apply this, I first applied one layer, as you can see, and I showed you what that looked like after compared to no makeup at all. Then I did apply a second pump only onto spots where I needed a little bit of extra coverage or I had extra redness, and I just patted those into the skin because I feel like that gives a bit more coverage than rubbing. So as you can see in the demo, that is what I did. I showed you the comparison to before makeup and with the first pump, and then also with the second pump, and then after concealer, because obviously I did use concealer because this is a sheer coverage product. So I did just use some concealer underneath my eyes and then on any extra spots but I didn't actually have to use that much because this was pretty impressive which we will talk about in a second. So for my first impressions of the product itself, when I first pumped it out I thought wow this is a really nice consistency. It wasn't too thick and it wasn't too thin. It felt very nice going on the skin just like a moisturizer. It does have a light fragrance. Kind of just smells like how it would smell if you put like an SPF on your face in the summer which is not really a problem for me. I did find that the coverage was buildable. Not super buildable. You're, I mean you're not going to build this up with five layers and get full coverage but I definitely find it to be from the first layer to that second kind of area I just topped on extra redness I found that to actually work appearance on the skin I would say is natural I wouldn't even say it says natural dewy finish I wouldn't say it's dewy especially at first application by the end of the day as I realized yesterday it did get a bit dewy but I would say as soon as you apply it it doesn't look matte it doesn't look dewy nothing really like that I would just say natural finish it literally looks like skin when I touch my skin it literally feels so soft like a baby's butt it feels so soft I'm shocked actually by how soft and smooth my skin feels you can see in the demo that the coverage is definitely sheer. I would 100% not even compare these two, to be honest. My it Cosmetic CC Cream is just as good coverage as a medium coverage foundation, but it's a lot better for your skin. This is not that good coverage, but it does somehow make your skin look amazing. Like, you can still see my imperfections, which I actually like. I don't like not being able to see freckles and things like that. I'm not all about full coverage. I also found while I was applying the rest of my makeup, like my bronzer, my blush, that it went on quite well. It didn't feel like it was going on blotchy. I find sometimes when I don't wear a lot of coverage, you can see that your bronzer and your blush just don't go on as well, but this like everything just went on so evenly right now I have had it on for about 30 minutes and I really like it I don't want to like, spoil the end of this review I guess but I did wear this all day yesterday for 11 hours which is very long for me I usually wear my makeup for like nine hours I really enjoyed the look of it on my skin I think it lasted about eight hours perfectly we'll see how it goes today because yesterday I was literally just sitting in the office all day yesterday I was really really impressed I didn't feel oily at all I wouldn't say this controlled oil so if you have like super oily skin I don't think this is gonna like help you I guess but 
I do tend to get quite oily in my t-zone and I didn't feel the need to blot at all yesterday until late in the evening but it also did feel moisturizing I wouldn't say you can skip your moisturizer if you're gonna use this I guess unless you have oilier skin it definitely didn't cling to dry spots in in any way shape or form which I was very impressed about this does really work I honestly I haven't been this excited about a new product in a super long time and I would recommend this to so many people I find it to just completely blur everything not just wrinkles in my pores a lot of makeup like sits on my pores and it kind of does blur them it somehow covers everything you want to cover but still lets your actual natural look come through I also found it to just be so good for my combo skin so I do feel like this would be good for a lot of different skin types I also usually know right when I take off my makeup at the end of the day if it made me break out yesterday I had no extra breakouts or anything like that I didn't get irritated whatsoever from this it does have retinol in it like I said so if you're sensitive to very strong ingredients like that this might not be for you you could always ask your dermatologist or your doctor if they recommend that it is really good for wrinkles I've even heard retinol is good for acne and scarring and things like that so I'm excited about this it does say over time it is supposed to even the tone of your skin honestly out of all the BBCC creams I've tried from the drugstore this is my favorite at the moment so like I said I'll check in throughout the day just to kind of show you how it lasts hey guys so sorry I didn't check in sooner but it is now four o'clock so I've had this on for it still looks pretty good. I have been doing a lot more than I was yesterday. So yesterday I was just kind of like sitting in the office all day and doing work. But today I was definitely running out and did a lot of errands in and out. The wind was really bad. So I feel like I was just like whacked in the face with a lot of cold air. I do feel a little bit of like dryness and crepiness like right around my nose. But I feel like that happens no matter what I'm wearing. I guess these spots are showing through a bit more than they were earlier. But I think that's just also where throughout six hours I haven't blotted. I haven't touched up. You can see a bit of shininess right here. Because like I said I was running around all day. I think my skin looks pretty good. Like if you look at it it looks dewy looks fresh I don't know if I'm gonna even check back in again because it'll just be later at night you're not gonna really be able to see very much but I already know because I wore it yesterday so hopefully you can just uh, assume that I'm being honest because I always am on this channel if you see my other reviews and yeah, I will leave my review playlist below you know that I'm 100% honest about every product I review super excited about this I'm definitely gonna keep on using this I really like it my overall conclusion for the end of the day I'm gonna give this product five out of five honestly it gave me everything i expected it to it pretty much did everything it claimed to do i'm really happy with this honestly i'd recommend this to just about anyone other than someone who has like super duper oily skin and then i would try the skin clearing version let me know if you've tried this and what you think let me know if you're gonna go and buy it because i'm just gonna be excited if i convinced you to get it because i think it's amazing that's my overall opinion i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to check out the rest of my reviews in the playlist below and i'll see you in my next video bye I'm, I feel like I'm crooked. Okay. Ooh! Red. <laughs> it sounds like someone's popping giant popcorn outside. I don't understand what this noise is. Right now, right? <laughs> Yuck. <coughs> oh my god, so cool. This was made in New Jersey. How cool. That's so exciting.